online that you can go to find how to cook food on your grill. But I'm here to make you an expert on how your grill works and what to do when it doesn't. So today I'm gonna to show you the major components of this gas grill. This is a pro fire and even though there's no food on here, you might be salivating because this is about the most beautiful grill I've ever seen. So let's just go ahead and get started. This that I just opened is what we would call the hood or the lid of the grill. And right here you can see a warming rack. Sometimes these are connected up to the lid of the grill. That's called a swing away warming rack. It gets higher away from the grid when it's open, gets lower down once you close it again. This right here is the cooking grid. Some people call it the cooking grill. We call it the cooking grid because that's less confusing. This is a stainless steel cooking grid with really thick stainless steel wire. Sometimes these will be thinner, sometimes they'll be non-stainless steel, they'll just be uh, steel that's coated in porcelain. You can also have a cast iron cooking grid that would also be coated in porcelain. Underneath that you have the heat distribution system. Most grills nowadays have a heat plate. Sometimes older grills had what was called a briquette grate that had lava rock or briquettes on it. Either way, the burners need to be covered so that you can distribute the heat that comes out of the burners and also protect the burners from the grease that drips down from your food. A flame tamer, heat angle, there's a few different names that people call it. We call it a heat plate. This is a stainless steel tube burner. There are a couple different kinds of burners. Some of them look like an H. Sometimes they'll run this way across the grill. Some of them look like an oval. Sometimes they're made out of cast iron, but basically the piece of metal down here where your flames come out, that's called the burner. They're connected into the manifold and valves behind the faceplate of your grill. You can't see those, but that's what allows the, the gas to go into your burner. Here we have the electrode. This one's connected to a collector box that will collect the gas and light that and then once that's lit it will light each burner. Some electrodes are pointed straight at the burner. Those won't have a collector box because they'll light the gas that comes out of one of the holes. So those are the major components that you see on the inside of the grill. I will do another video about the ones we see on the outside of the grill here. But if you have any more questions, you can always reach out to the experts at grillpartsearch.com or you can follow us on our new social media channels. Our handle there is Grill Parts Pros. We're on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We still have a page on Facebook. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day.